Wowzers. Such hard work, this. Uh, Things aren't going to plan. No. I don't know what's going to be the title of this video. I can't. So we've got the lintel in, we've got the cavity tray in, we've got it all set up. So basically we're ready to go. Right, Dad has uh, just left. He's going to do a bit of a supply run while he's out, so he's going to grab some sand cement. He's going to get some bluebirds for there, because our screw tires are good and all, but um, the bluebirds, we can get longer ones, which will we'll definitely be able to get them, get them through. Oh, God. Day three. Day three, day 11. Yeah, and we're still on lintel number two. It's supposed to be one lintel per day. Uh, Things aren't going to plan. No. I don't know what's going to be the title of this video. I can't think of any more disastrous uh, words to put in. Anyway. Oh, last job, question mark. Mm. Yeah, the, the shite's piling up and I forgot to allow for a skip on this, so this is going to be a, a lot of trips to the tip. There's the bags over there, and that's just what we've got so far. Yeah. Um, anyway, Alex has got us all loaded up. Now, I don't think I showed this yesterday, but there you go. Now this is a perfect example of when people are going nuts in the comments about supporting brickwork. That that brickwork supporting itself, that's where it goes naturally, like that. We've got the macros in just for safety, but that brickwork is, is supporting itself. It's going nowhere, that. And that's the natural drop. When the lintel's rusted and dropped, that's what's gone above it. So, um, we've had a lot of acid yesterday. It's very hard to clean the bricks back up, because when they've, when they've redone the cavity trays, They've just put uh, the soldiers in one course back in with sand and cement, really hard sand and cement. I'm talking, you chip it off, it takes the face off the brick. Granite. Yeah. Never did it. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yesterday we got the... We got a bit further than we did the day before. Got all the brickwork out. Sorry, we built that in the morning from scratch. Got all this out in the afternoon. We hit about quarter to six. Yeah. So we got the lintel in. We've got the cavity tray in, we've got it all set up, so basically we're ready to go. So just this morning we've just had a bit of a clear up, and um, yeah, ready to get the line up, get the brickwork patched up to the jams, and then get the soldier brick in and brick it up. And as I say, that thing is supporting itself, so the acros are coming out today because the brickwork is not being supported, it's supporting itself. Let me just restress that. The brickwork is supporting itself. Those acros are there just in case. But nothing's gonna happen. Trust me. I'm sick of the shit in the comments. <laughs> so let's get back up there and get cracking.
Right, it's been break time. Dad's up there getting them soldiers in. I'm gonna get the rest of these tiles cut now because we've got 15 more to cut and then that should be it for the whole job then. We need uh, one or two more for that window, the window, for that doorway because it's a bit bigger than the central one. So I might as well get them all done now and then I can get up there and give them a hand again. So I'm gonna go get that still saw and pray it bloody works. So I'll send you to dad. We're making progress. Dad's got soldiers in, he's got the tiles in, and he's starting to get that brickwork run in now. Um, obviously, I've done all the cuts now, so that's all done with. There's the other lot. There's them brick for these soldiers when we get to that. But, we're making progress. We're getting there, it's just one of them. So I'm just doing my best to clean some of these bricks off because we're going to need a few more here just because um, we didn't take into account the sides of the soldiers so oh yeah it does go go get screw ties because as you've probably seen up there all the tire wires are just rotted away rusted away so there's not even any tire wires in there adding to the worst job we've ever seen so there's tire wires and they're just screwed yeah so while he goes off to get them I'll just uh, keep doing best do what I can around here, keep it organised, keep it tidy, get the bricks clean, so on and so forth. So, enough ranting, see you in a minute. Right, so Dad has just set off now, and he's going to do a bit of a supply run while he's out. So, he's going to get some more sand cement, because we're all out. He's going to get some bluebirds, because as good as our screw ties are, bluebirds will probably work better for this situation, because you can get longer ones. Oh, you couldn't make this. If it's gonna go wrong, it'll go wrong for us. Yeah, ran out of bloody vents. Um, local birds, the ferries don't stop them, scoopers don't stop them, tool stations don't stop them. So I managed to source some. So that's took me over an hour and a half truck running around trying to get them. We've got red, but obviously these two done a buff, so we can't put red on the end. Um, Alex's been tidying up and trying to get straight. So now, got a bucket there ready to go up. Just get this bit lashed in, get that finished, and that way we can get this dropped, get over there, get that covered up, get that dropped ready for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully start tomorrow as we started today. And hopefully we won't have a big massive triangle missing like that. I've picked up uh, three three of the cavity bluebirds as well to go in. 
so they're going in in a, in a minute and that's it we'll insulate as we go so again put on time lapse for a bit and then, oh yeah it's, the sun's blazing but got no sun cream so got my hood on in a blazing sunshine <laughs> no i burnt my ears the other day and you've got ears like mine they burn easy so let's get back up there long time no see oh he's uh he's returned um, and we've had our he's returned and we've had our dinner so back on it and like i said before he's got some some blue birds in just because they're a bit longer than the our screw ties so these work out a bit better and uh going way way back to a garage conversion job we did we've uh we've learnt our lesson we've put the uh, we've put the blue birds in this way i think last time we had them going yeah. I've put too much of a bloody fall on them now. I can't get them in. We put them in the opposite way. So and I think we got uh, I think we got a bit blasted, didn't we? Oh, we got crucified for that. So we've learned our lesson. We've put them this way. It's just to uh, tie these walls together again because, as you can see here, the the butterfly tires are just they're gone. They've r rusted away, eroded away. So there's nothing tying these walls together now, but. We've changed that, so we're just going to keep cracking as best we can, get this done as quick as possible, and then same as yesterday, just try and get started on that other one and do as much as we can before four o'clock. There we go. There we go. In. So. And sloping away. <laughs> so I'll change these batteries. We do listen to the comments, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we do. Oh, we listen to you, yeah. Um. But yeah. So I'm going to change these batteries and I'll be back with you.
And as the radio just said, three o'clock. Wowzers. Such hard work this. It's done. Saw the state of it. Wonky lintel and everything. So we've got a nice new lintel in here now. Full event. Right, day four of a three day job. That's got a hole in it because they were just patched really poorly. So they're getting changed for the different bricks. Same script as the other two. Absolutely knackered lintel. Look at that in best condition the other two. That's a slim one piece on the end. Maybe not this end. Yeah, this one's been leaking. So. Look at that one. That's just rust that off the leaking. So yeah, I don't know what this is for. That's where the original tray was. And then they came in and put this lead one in here. <clears throat> this was underneath for some reason, don't know what that's for. Maybe just to protect the back of the concrete lintel. Who knows? Not sure how old the house is. So, um, same script. Get this off. Get the seating ready. Get the tray in. Sorry. Get the tray ready. Get the lintel in. Get the tray in. Get all the insulation done behind it. Same script as the other two. But hopefully, this one's a bit more straightforward. You can just see the other one there. There's the other two. And there's Alex. It's been a tough week, this. All tidied up there now. We just need to get a trim on the middle door, get the end door sealed, and pretty much this is a bomb site underneath me here. Well, oh, actually, did that clean for me? So yeah, this is it. We've got, um, got a whole day now to do this. We haven't got a skip, so we're going to have to pick all the bags up in the car because we're not having the tip of the van. Uh, we haven't had for, we're already a day over, so we haven't had for a skip. So it's just been one of those jobs. So um yeah. Let's get you set up and get uh, get cracking. There we go. This halves out, I'll show you why this halves out. We're cut out for our tray now, tray's cut as well. Just gonna give this a blowout, get this to tidy up. We might need to take this plastic ball back again with the multi-tool. And Basically that's what the lintel was sat on, that's just gobbed up, so that, that lintel was sat right back, so it's basically sat on sand cement, that's it, it didn't go onto this brick, there's only had 100mm seating, and there's, well, I don't even know what that is, but anyway, we're going to take this out, same as the other end, put a full half in, uh, proper seating, and get this lintel on properly, the lintel is actually going to sit down onto this, this frame, so that's going to give it some nice support. So, yeah, get back to you in a bit. Right, Ali, you can whip it off now.
Alright, so it's after lunch. I was trying to build up some motivation to do this. We've uh, we've got the soldiers in, Dad's got the tiles in, and now we're on the brickwork part, so... I, I, I really don't want to say it, knock on wood, but the end's getting in sight. So, Dad's like, I'm just going to keep Dad supplied up and such and keep dotting around. Then once he's done, I'm going to go drop the scaffold while he gets the trims. And I think, yeah, that's about it. We've got all that rubbish, which are we going to come for that tomorrow? Uh, yeah. We're going to come, come We're going to come for the rubbish tomorrow in the car, since obviously, as you know, we have to have an appointment for a, a van to go in. And we've got, of course, we've got no slots for the weekend. So we're going to do it with the car. And yeah, just really, really can't wait for this one to be done. It's been a nightmare and a half. I'll pass you up so you can watch the bricks go in.
Uh, day five. Day five. We're only here to put the trims on now and get sealed up and get the rest fast of all. Obviously we can't take it all in one go. So yeah, just get it all finished off and then we're out of here. I'm on a tip duty with Mum and Sarah today. Oh yeah, we brought two cars. We've got Christine in the car and Sarah in the car. So we can get all the stuff to the tip. So obviously the van's not allowed in. Yeah, well Dad does that. Well Dad finishes this up and just has a brush around. I'll get all this rubbish taken away and then we'll uh, get the rest of our stuff over there. Super family helping us out. Yeah. Right, let's get this lot finished off. We've done it. I can't even tell you how accomplishing that feels to have finally got this done. As you have seen, it's been one heck of a journey from start to finish. But very challenging, should we say, put it nicely, but it's finally done. As you saw from our little walk through then, soldier bricks and engineering, um, rosemary tile top pins haunched. So big thanks to Sarah and Mum for being absolute troopers, helping me get all that rubbish sent off. But yeah, that was a, a grueling task, but it's done. So if you enjoyed our suffering, <laughs> be sure to leave a like. Really helpful for the algorithm and we greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell button as well. Again, we greatly appreciate that. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex signing off until the next one. Till next time.